Woo. Yo, what up? It's Chad so cool. Better watch how you move. You feel me? We in the building. All right, so I'm back at it. Back at it. Alive and direct. You feel me? <sighs> Just woke up from a nap. Um, I don't think people understand how important a nap is. And, uh, probably won't be able to get to sleep tonight, but, you know, it is what it is. If I don't really sleep, then I'll just be up, you know, doing more videos to, you know, run up the bag because I will be one of the most successful, <laughs> I will be one of the most successful people on YouTube. I'm claiming it right now. So, yeah. But uh, we're about to get into today's video topic. And uh, if you're watching this video, you can already tell by the title that uh, she is never single, even if she is single. And uh, I'm going to break that down for you uh, slim slows that don't even know how the game go. All right. So what I mean by she is never single even if she is single is that i don't know what it is like a lot of dudes get caught up in this fake reality that if they are talking to a female that quote unquote single and she could possibly be she could possibly, you know, just gotten out of a relationship however long ago. But the thing is, she is never single, even if she is single. And the main point is that what a lot of guys don't get, because they're not aware of how these females operate, is that she is always talking to somebody. Even if she's single. You are not the only one that she's talking to. Females have a rotation. A rotation. A rotation on rotation of guys. At a drop of a dime. Whether it be in a phone. Or they be on, you know, Snapchat. Twitter. Especially Instagram. They have a rotation of dudes. So they are never single, even if they are. She will always be talking to somebody. A lot of guys don't get that. They get in this, this, they feelings and, you know, doing all this beta ass shit and, you know, having a mindset of that, thinking like, oh, I got this chick, man. You know, you know she she look good. You know she, you know she cool. She I vibe with her, and whatever. But you think she, you're the one? You're the only one that she's talking to? No. You're not the only one. You will never be the only one. And that's just how it is. Because you could be talking to her and like, or, you know, be wanting to dig her out. Or if she like really fucks with you, you know, you still won't be the only person that she's talking to. Y'all could talk every motherfucking day. But she still has options. I don't give a flying for doodle if you stay up all night on the phone with her. When y'all hang up and go to sleep, the next day, she's not only going to be talking to you, she's going to be talking to like fucking 15 other dudes. And that's just what it is. 
she is never single, dude. I don't give a flying for doodle if she's in a relationship. I don't give a fudge if she's married. She's never single. <laughs> and and a, a lot of dudes don't realize this concept of like the information that I'm talking about. Because all right, a chick could be in a whole relationship, right? Doesn't matter. When the boyfriend's not around, when they go their separate ways at the, you know, the end of the day, after spending time with each other, she goes back to where she's at. And she's got like fucking 50 other dudes texting her, hitting her up. You know, that whole male best friend for females, that shit is real. And if you don't think it's real, you're a fucking idiot. If a female tells you that she has a male best friend, get away from that bitch. Period. You feel me? Get away from her. Because the male best friend is the one that she's texting or talking to at night when you're not around. Along with those 50 other dudes as well. It's a never-ending cycle, and it will not stop. She's never single, even if she is. Because if she's in a relationship and said boyfriend fucks up, oh, she's going to have a, his replacement before the breakup. Because why? Because the replacement's been there. The best friend or the other guy that she really wants to be with, they've been there. They were probably all they were probably already there even before you got into a relationship with her. They always been there. It doesn't matter. The best friend and the other guy that she wants to be with will be there when the breakup happens. They're already there on standby, even before the breakup happens. So they're there when the breakup happens and, they're be and they are there before the breakup happens. It's, it's just like that. If you think that it's not real, <laughs> sheesh, <laughs> go find out for yourself. <laughs> go find out for yourself, and I bet you you will have a different attitude to what I'm saying right now. They will always have options. They will always have a rotation. And it won't stop. So what I've, you know, gotten hip to over the years, back when I wasn't aware of female nature, and now the that I'm aware and, you know, I'm applying this knowledge into my daily life is like the whole oh, I have a boyfriend type shit that cause that cause that's their favorite line is like just psh, irrelevant. And they could possibly really do have a boyfriend, but it doesn't at the end of the day, it doesn't mean shit. 
society has put too much on titles that don't mean shit. Because people get cheated on every single damn day all around the world. So that boyfriend shit and definitely, oh, I'm married, I have a husband shit has no power. It's just a title, a meaningless, worthless title that has been hyped up by society to make females like just like just brainwashed to be like, oh, I got to be loyal to this person. When in actuality, that's not what they want. Yeah, could could they have a boyfriend? Yeah. Could they be married and have a husband? Yeah. But it doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean shit. It never has and it never will. See, that's what you ha- have to understand in your mind and apply it to be like, who gives a fuck if she has a boyfriend or she's married? Married women cheat every day. Bitches cheat on their boyfriends every day. Because they do this is because they they don't they're with the guy that they don't really want to be with, but they'll accept him for the time being. So it's just his turn. Meanwhile, she could go out and have a girl's night out and cheat and meet up with a guy that she really wants to be with and hook up with him. Yes, they they will do this. But then run, run back to the boyfriend. Come on, man. Y'all... Y'all got to wake up and realize what this shit is, man. It's a game. It's a game that they play. They're never single. Even if they are. They will always have options. They will always have a rotation greater than yours. So what must you do to have more options and have a rotation? And beat these females at their own game. You got to be the best version of yourself. And while you're becoming the best version of yourself. You also have to be aware of the game that they play. Realize it, accept it, and use it to your advantage. Play the game just how they play the game. Simple. I'm telling y'all, bro. Like, believe me when I say this, man, because I'm not going to get on here and tell y'all nothing wrong. I'm I'm, like, I'm calling this shit right now. Within the next, I would say, couple years. Like I'm I'm calling this shit right now as like as y'all watching this video. Within the next I say couple years, because it's like it's building up, it's building up. Female nature is going to get exposed. And men are going to wake up, realize the game, and know how these females operate. Female nature will be exposed. And these bitches will lose behind it. Because men are going to wake up and realize the games that they play. And it's a wrap. It's a wrap for them. You know? They're not, they're not innocent in no way, shape, or form. 
So right here, right now, I'm calling it female nature will be exposed. It's already kind of like, you know, exposing itself, you know, little by little each day. But in the next few years, it's really going to explode. And these females going to lose. And all that, oh, I got a boyfriend and I'm married. All that shit going to go out the window. Fuck that shit. Nobody cares. Not saying that all of them will cheat, but they are capable of cheating. And if they get the opportunity to do that, they will do that. Another thing that's like kind of off the subject, but like kind of um, into it. Why do you think they go crazy for celebrity dudes? They'll get down and do dirty with any celebrity dude and have a whole boyfriend. But they want us to be loyal, right? They want us to tell the truth. While a chick could go get, you know, get nasty with a, a celebrity dude and then run back to her boyfriend like it's nothing. And she'll act like it, it didn't happen. And the dude is, because he's so beta, he doesn't, you know, he's not aware of it. He's not aware of what's going on. Man, it's like this. So I was scrolling on Instagram, right, on the uh, the popular page. And I came across this video of this chick. She was listening to uh, Pooh Shiesty. And her boyfriend's, like, watching TV or playing the video game. And then she's recording. And she tells her boyfriend, and I quote, she tells her boyfriend, she was like, do you know that I will eat Pooh Shiesty's dick up? And then she said it again. And her boyfriend's like, yes, like, you know, because he got fucking irritated, got mad. Because, like, and I'm just looking at this shit. I'm like, yo, did she really just say that? Like, in front of her boyfriend. She was recording it. She was recording herself telling him that. You you see what I'm saying? The, the disrespect, bro. They ain't got no respect, man. She said she would eat Pooh Shiesty's dick up in front of her boyfriend, bro, and recorded it and put it on Instagram. And it got thousands of views. I think I got, I think I got the video saved in my uh, Instagram things. I'm going to uh, post it on my Instagram and shit so y'all can see what the fuck I'm talking about, like, if, if I have the video. But y'all see what I'm saying? The disrespect will get down and dirty with a whole celebrity and have a boyfriend. No respect, man. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, man, that's the video f f for this evening. You know, I got to stay consistent with the uploads. But yeah, man. That's the video. She is never single, even if she is single. Period. Wake up. Get hip to their games. Know what the fuck they doing out here. And use it to your advantage. Simple. Yeah, so. Coming back at y'all with another video. I'm going to link all my social media down in the description. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video. You know, we pushing for 50 subscribers, man. Like, let's get it. I'm going to be on this, man. You know, this is my mission. You know, I consider myself a YouTube content creator. 
right now. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, turn on your post notifications so you'll be alerted when I upload. It's Chad Too Cool, better watch how you move, and I'm out.